Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. We have been pressing and praying through my devotional, My Identity is Secure, um, Daughter of the King 30-Day Devotional. I know there are some gentlemen out there um, listening, so we do make sure to use the word son as we press in and pray as well because it is applicable to you. The title just says daughter because I am a female. And so... We bless God for you all on this morning as we are beginning to press in and pray and read through the devotional. Facebook, share this broadcast. Clubhouse, ping someone into the room um, as we are getting ready to go um, through this morning and see what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to us. Um, we are on day 20 this morning and I'm excited uh, because we are ending um, section number two of identity security. But... We pressed in um, in section number one um, concerning the fact that we know who we serve, all about our service. And day one was about the fact that God is good. Day two, we pressed into the God who loves us. Day three, we pray concerning the God who fights for us. Day four, we pray concerning God is our exceeding great reward. Day five, we pray concerning God being our shield and our buckler. Day six, we prayed about God being a holy God. Day seven, we prayed concerning the righteous God. Day eight, we prayed concerning the God of justice. Day nine, we prayed concerning the God of correction. Day 10, we prayed concerning God as shepherd. In section two, it's all about identity security. Day 11, we talked about being sons and daughters of the king. Day 12, we prayed into the fact that we are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Day 13, we prayed about being accepted by God. Day 14, we pressed in and prayed concerning being the beloved of God. Day 15, we talked about being the redeemed of God. Day 16, we pressed in and prayed concerning being partakers of the divine nature of Jesus Christ. Day 17, we prayed about being heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Day 18, we prayed being um, concerning being overcomers. Day 19, we prayed about being blessed. And today we are praying about being favored. And so I'm excited as we uh, take a look at the fact that we are those who are favored by God. Oftentimes we forget that we're favored uh, because of circumstances in life. And so our focal scripture comes from Psalm 90, verse 17, and it says, And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. God wants to let his beauty shine upon you. The beauty of the Lord is his favor. God wants to look upon you in such a way that when others look upon you, they desire to bless you. The favor of God can do for you in a moment what all your hard work could not do in a lifetime. The favor of God attracts blessings to you. When you are favored by God, people will want to sow into your life and they will not know why. The favor of God draws people to you. God's favor is better than earthly riches. God's favor can open doors for you to have earthly riches, but it also gives you access to eternal riches. It's nice to have things here on earth. And as sons and daughters of the king, you should have things here on earth. But you should also have things stored up for yourself for when you get to heaven. As blood-bought believers who are sons and daughters of the king, you already have God's favor on your life. God favored you when he sent Jesus to die for you. However, you can grow in favor with God and with man. Proverbs 3, 4. When you grow in favor with man, excuse me, um, when you grow in favor with God, it unlocks the door for you to grow in favor with man. 
The prayer that God commanded Moses to tell Aaron and his sons to proclaim over the people of Israel was a prayer to introduce the favor of God into the lives of the people of Israel. This is known as the Arianic blessing in Numbers 6, 22 through 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, speak unto Aaron and unto his sons saying, on this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. When you have the favor of God, God is looking in your direction. When God looks at you, Excuse me. What God looks at gets his affection, which are the blessings that he bestows on his people. As a son or daughter of the king, God delights in looking upon you. God delights in being able to take delight in your life and have the angels that are on assignment to your life bless you in a mighty way. God looks for ways to demonstrate his love for you and his favor is one of the ways that he does that. One part of having favor is that you have the peace of God. If you have lived for any length of time, you know that there are situations that arise in, the, in life that seem like they intentionally came to steal your peace. The truth is that those situations did come to steal your peace, but you have the option to hold on to the favor of God so tightly that the attempt at stealing your peace falls flat. Since God favors you, Peace should always rest on you no matter what is going on in your life. The peace of God is so valuable in the life of a believer. When you operate with the peace of God on your life, you are able to clearly hear the voice of God because you are not moved by what you see. The peace of God is an indication that you are operating from the third heaven and not from the earth realm. Wherever God is, that is where his favor will be also. Today, you are going to focus on identifying areas of your life where you have tried to accelerate yourself in your own strength instead of accessing the favor of God to propel you to the next level in your journey. Make a list of areas that you need to hand over to God and pray the Arianic prayer over yourself. Then go before God and open up about all that you have tried to do in your own strength. Repent before the Father and invite the favor of God to overtake you. We are going to uh, press in and pray this starter prayer and then we will pray as the spirit of the living God leads. Lord, we thank you that your favor is our portion. We ask that you would forgive us for trying to succeed in life in our own strength. Lord, please bring to our remembrance every area of our lives where we have been striving instead of letting your favor propel us. Lord, we admit that the reason we are weary in some areas of our lives is because we lack your favor in that area. Lord, show us how to access your favor. We know that you take delight in us and that favor is a promise that we have access to and that you want to shower us with your favor. Please order our steps so that we live in your continual favor. We don't want you to turn your face from us. Lord, quicken us so that we, are, that we rise above sin so that we do not have to experience you turning your face from us. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to examine our lives in order to set ourselves up for an abundance of your favor, O oh Father God. Lord, we thank you that you are the God who delights in us. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus that you bless us and keep us that you make your face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us, that you lift up your countenance upon us and you give us peace and that you put your name on us and that you bless us. Lord, we just thank you in the name of Jesus for your favor. We thank you in the name of Jesus for your peace. We thank you in the name of Jesus for your love. We thank you that you are ever the more gracious unto us. We thank you for how you wrap us in the cradle of your arms. We thank you for how you overshadow no, us. We thank you. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh Father God. 
for how you have caused no, us to mommy, enter in. I want to talk about it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, no. hear, you hear mommy praying? No. Yes, you have some good listening ears. So do me a huge favor. You want to hear Coco Melon? Yes. Okay, here's what we're going to do for the Coke and the melon, okay? This is what we're going to do. Okay, you can't have Coco Melon and sit on Mommy, okay? So make a decision. Would you like to go over there with Coco Melon or you want to sit on Mommy? Okay. Come on. Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to enter into your favor. We thank you for this opportunity to be overshadowed by your love and for your blessings, oh God. You are a God of favor. You are the God of peace. You are the God who who lifts our 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 bow down heads and you mend our broken hearts oh father god lord we thank you for all you are doing on the inside of us we thank you for your grace and for your mercy oh god we repent even now for feeling as if we are a people who lack your favor we repent in the name of jesus for forgetting that you turned your face from jesus christ on the cross so that we could forever be in your presence so that we could be a people whose world would not be darkened and dim but because jesus christ is the light of the world we can enter into the truth of who you are we call for for ourselves to be salt and light in the earth oh father god we say we grow in favor with you and with man we say we grow in favor with you and with man we say we grow in favor with you and with man oh god we shut down every lie of the enemy that will say that you are withholding your favor from us lord you demonstrated your favor unto us when you sent your son to live and die on our behalf what a mighty god you are because there is no one who would send forth their only son on behalf of a people that they know would fall short but we thank you in the name of Jesus that in spite of what we have done in spite of what we will do you desire for your favor to rest upon us we know that uh, a part of your favor is your peace oh God Lord your word says that let your peace rest upon us in areas of our lives oh father God and in those it. moments oh father God where your peace has not rested on us we know that we are having a deficit of favor we know that we are our deficit of favor in those areas and so we thank you in the name of jesus for uh, the opportunity to enter into a surplus of peace, oh Father God, where we are able to enter into the demonstrative power of who you are, oh God, that as you are calling us into purpose, as you are calling us into wholeness, as you have fashioned us according to the name that you have written upon our hearts and upon our foreheads, oh Father God, we are able to enter into realms of favor, oh God. Favor goes before us. Favor overtakes us. Favor overshadows us. Favor, favor, favor. We just thank you that we are a people who are favor magnets, oh God. We thank you that we are a people who are connected to you. We thank you that we are a people who are loved by you. We thank you that we are a people who can stand in you, oh Father God, who can um, um, overcome the wiles of the enemy in you because of your favor, oh Father God. Oftentimes we forget that your favor is a weapon because your peace is a weapon when jesus was in the boat oh father god and the winds and the storms raged he said peace be still you sent your disciples out and you said if uh people will reject you call your peace don't let your peace rest upon that house and so even today we speak to our atmospheres and we say peace be still because we are favored by god when things don't go according to how they should according to your plan oh god we release your peace into the atmosphere to shake those things that thought they go were going to shake us we send forth an east wind to scatter those foundations that thought that they were going to come against the very foundation of who you are in our lives oh god and so we thank you in the name of Jesus for your peace we thank you in the name of Jesus for your joy we thank you in the name of Jesus for your righteousness we thank you that we are overflowing with your favor 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 oh God and we just bless you for your strength on today for the joy of the Lord is our strength and as we are a people who are kingdom people as we are a people who are wrapped in your glory as we are a people who stand on your word we appreciate your favor today lord that we will release 
uh, our peace in the places where we go on our jobs. Oh, Father God, sometimes we are a people who don't release your peace in the atmospheres of our jobs. Oh, Father God. And for that, we repent because you have given peace to us as a way to be able to stand as a way to be able to secure ourselves in you. Oh, Father God, you have given us your peace as a sign that we have come from you. You said that blessed are the peacemakers. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus that today we are peacemakers and not peacekeepers today we utilize your peace oh father god is the weapon that you intended for it to be that it would represent your favor that rests upon our life oh father god no longer will we be a people who are absent of peace but we will be a people who are overshadowed by peace that your peace would guard our souls like an umpire that we would say this is out and this is in based upon your peace oh father god based upon being a people who are fully favored by the only one true wise and living god and so we bless you as our god we bless you as our lord we bless you as our king and we say we will rest in your favor today we will walk in your favor today we will live in your favor today we won't allow the things of this world to interrupt the peace that you have bestowed upon us but we say peace be still in the name of Jesus we claim your peace we utilize your peace and we live in your peace today and we say let your favor drip from us your favor go before us oh father God and your favor overshadow us in Jesus name. Amen. Listen, we are a people who are favored by God. God likes to listen into our conversations and, and when he listens into them, his favor is resting upon us because his face is looking upon us. We have to be a people who are mindful of the presence of the Lord in all that we do. We have to be a people who understand that we can grow in favor. We can grow in God looking upon us in all that we do and so we want to allow this day to be a day where we rest in the favor of God utilizing the peace of God as God intended for us to use it and so um, I bless God for you all this morning good morning Wanda uh, good morning good morning and so listen I want to pray with you guys on Facebook you know Clubhouse we're going to get in and we're going to pray as well but send me your prayer requests Facebook we would love to pray with you you send them to me um, via messenger and I will press in and pray with you on this morning just a reminder that we will um, not be here Saturday and Sunday morning as that's a time of reflection for us as we reflect on all that we have pressed in and prayed concerning this week Go back, watch the recordings of these prayers. Um, write down anything the Lord is saying to you. Purge of anything that you've been carrying that the Lord never intended for you to carry. If you have not gotten your very own copy of the devotional Facebook, you can click the link in the description um, to the video and get your copy. Clubhouse, you can go on Instagram, click the link in my bio and get your copy today. If you are ready to join my community, guess what? We have class tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So click the link in the description to my bio, uh, in the description to this video, Facebook, because Beautiful Souls meets tonight and you don't want to miss that meeting. It will bless you unless like any other meeting and then next week friday at 7 p.m eastern standard time leader souls meets go to the website take a look at what uh these memberships have to offer and sign up today because you don't want to miss out on that thing oftentimes people are like listen i just want to coach with you one-on-one -on -one. and i think that that's a beautiful thing but i i I challenge you to join the membership because there's some educational tools and strategies that you are going to need from this membership uh, that will help to accelerate you in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So go ahead, sign up for the membership. Plus, you get a 25% discount on any of my products and services when you are a member of Beautiful Souls. So go check out the membership. See what is made available to you through this membership because it is a powerful uh, tool to build you up as a son and a daughter of the living God. And so sign up today, you will not regret it. It is an amazing um, community. And so Facebook, I bless God for you. I bless God for what he's doing. And I will see you in another broadcast. Do not forget to send me your prayer requests. Have an amazing day. Bye.